Welcome to the Swine Health Black Belt Podcast, the latest swine health research digested for you. My name is Dr. Clayton Johnson, and I'm the host of the podcast. Joining me in our illustrious podcast studios this week is Dr. Levi Johnson. Dr. Johnson is a consulting veterinarian with the Swine Veterinary Center in St. Peter, Minnesota. Levi, thank you very much for coming on the podcast. I know you and I have known each other for uh, many years, um, but for those that maybe haven't met you, why don't we start by giving them a little bit of an introduction? Yeah, thanks, Clayton. Uh, glad to be on the podcast and, and talk through uh, finishing mortality and wherever the conversation goes. Uh, so I'm, I am eight years out of vet school and happy to be at Swine Vet Center in a consulting uh, practice. And uh, so we just work on pigs of all shapes and sizes. And we have a, our group is, uh, you know, well known and it's that, that's been fun to work with. Um, I, I guess going back to my roots, I grew up on a, a row crop farm and we raised pigs and, um, did that growing up and, uh, went to Iowa state undergrad and vet school and, uh, you know, had a few internship opportunities and got to see, you know, modern sow production and modern pig production. And that, uh, really excited me and, uh, I've known that I've been wanting to work with pigs for a long time and and happy to be doing what I'm doing. A full value relationship starts with understanding your business and Alanco knows growing the healthiest pig requires focus on every segment of production. Through continuous innovation, trusted solutions and actionable insights, Alanco is invested in helping you achieve the full value of every decision. Their portfolio offers solutions that manage disease challenges, minimize variation, and mitigate mortality to optimize pig health. Get full value from start to finish with Elanco. Yeah, well, um, you know, it's a, a treat to have you in the industry. And uh, certainly, you know, growing up there in Iowa, practicing in Minnesota, you know, the, there's going to be some finishing mortality opportunities that pop up there, right? Um, you know, the, the, there's a lot of pigs there, a lot of pigs from a lot of different sources. And with that, sometimes, unfortunately, comes a fair bit of disease. So let's dive into the finishing mortality thing, Levi. Like big picture, um, is the industry doing a better job of managing finishing mortality these days or doing a worse job? Like what, what's the trend look like? Yeah, I think I think the question of how we're managing it is is uh, is a good one. The one that's easiest to manner man, uh, answer is the end result. And if we look at if we look at the national trend, um, Meta Farms is what I'm what I'm familiar with the most. And a lot of not every pig in the in the country on that, but certainly a lot and a lot of systems represented. We see a, a trend actually on nursery and finishing since 2018 of consistently going the wrong direction. And, uh, and year over year, that trend is, is bad. And it's something that's uh, definitely in, in our wheelhouse to, to do something about. Um, and really when you look at it, it's been fairly, a fairly equal um, problem of a growing mortality and wean to market really throughout weeks on feed. Uh, so that's happened I think on a number of mortality percentage basis, um, or rather on a mortality basis, it's happened pretty similar from nursery to finishing as far as that percentage over time. And I'd almost argue that, that the biggest problem in that is the finishing number, because uh, we start looking at a lot of really expensive mortality when we have a lot of inputs and costs and space and labor and, and all of these things put in. Uh, to getting a pig into finishing, we, we really want to be able to capitalize on that investment and market the pig. Um, so that's that's kind of the the trend. And I think there's a lot of things that obviously go into that. But but part of it is is just starting with uh, starting with a pig that's set up for success. And so and you're we're aware of this and, and see this every day that we mostly get a lot of um, consequences of things that happen up the pig flow, right? So for finishing, um, it's a lot of what happened in nursery and, and probably more of what happened all the way to the sow farm. You know, how well that pig got colostrum, uh, vaccines and whatnot. 
And, and to add to that even more, it actually goes back to that boar stud that a lot of us don't interact with a ton day to day, uh, but challenges in stud farms that that's maybe going to make it um, an event where it's harder to make doses. Uh, sometimes studs will have to be less selective on boars that they collect from an index standpoint and the performance that that means downstream um, and also lameness, uh, mortality in stud farms has gone, has gone the same direction in a bad way. And so we think about, uh, for instance, an animal that's, that's lame and down in a boar stud, uh, we'd like to, to not pass on those genes necessarily if given a choice. And then we get into the sow farm and certainly a lot of the vaccines that we, that we give really aim towards finishing. And um, sometimes nursery, it's hard to for everyone to understand that, but you know the circovirus and mycoplasma and Lasonia vaccines for ileitis that that we're doing oftentimes in um, in the farrowing house. A lot of that's really aimed towards finishing and trying to hold those pigs together to the end. And so, if there's um, compliance issues, a lot of times that that doesn't show up until late finishing. And so it's really, it's really building that culture of, of holding people accountable and getting staff trained, you know, as we've had uh, industry seen a lot of turnover in the last few years and just making that, that system um, built so that we can execute vaccines and we can execute uh, colostrum, you know, all the way to the sow farm. And that's, that might be a different entity even than, than that, person that buys the wean pig and that might be a different entity sometimes and the person that gets the feeder pig and so there's several steps removed from some of the things that are really important from a infectious disease standpoint and so um and, and from a big level from a high level taking that investment to try and eliminate what you can also the um the direction to being mycoplasma negative has certainly helped more and more of the industry and, and, and more of us have seen the benefits of that. Um, PERS elimination, you know, starting with a PERS negative pig is really so much of the game on mortality on, on nursery and finishing. And if, if we go back to kind of some of those trends, you know, we're on a knocking on wood, we're on a fairly PERS light year, but, Still, this 2023 mortality trend isn't, it's a little bit better than 22, but we're still quite a bit worse than 19 and 18. Salmonella presents significant challenges to pig health and performance and poses food safety risks to humans. As the first and only vaccine offering live attenuated strains of both Salmonella cholera suis and Typhimurium, Enterosol Salmonella TC from Boringer Ingelheim protects pigs against both serotypes with a single oral dose. Talk to your Boringer Ingelheim representative to learn more. Thank you, Levi. I really appreciate you coming on and sharing your thoughts on managing finishing mortality. Uh, we actually probably need to make this one a two-parter, Levi, because we got a lot of good information to cover here. So we're going to take a break here and end up our first part of what will be a two-part series with Dr. Levi Johnson. I want to thank Dr. Levi for coming on the show and to our audience. Thank you very much for listening to the Swine Health Black Belt Podcast. Please go ahead and visit our website if you haven't already at swinehealthblackbelt.com and subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss out on Levi's second episode or any of the great material that we've got planned for you here in the coming weeks and months ahead. For Dr. Levi Johnson, I'm Dr. Clayton Johnson. Thank you very much for joining us and please have a great rest of your day. Hey everybody, we're always searching for the latest and greatest research to share each week. If you have a swine health related research trial and would like to come on the show and talk about it, share it with us, please feel free to email the research to hello at wisenetics.com. That's H-E-L-L-O at W-I-S-E-N-E-T-I-X dot com.